You're the best. You'll often hear someone say, You're the best to another person who has just helped them or has done them a favor. You're the best, you might say to a friend who agreed to drive you to the airport for a 6 a.m. flight. Maybe you work at a cafe and flawlessly made a customer's complicated drink. This is perfect. You're the best. Thanks so much for helping me move. You're the best, your friend might say after you guys spent all day packing boxes together. As you can see, the idiom, you're the best, is used to thank someone or to express appreciation for what that person has done for you, big or small. At first, it sounds like you're the best should not be used lightly and should be reserved for those in your life who really are the best people in your life. Upon closer examination, however, we find that this is not the case and that you're the best is most often used as a thank you to anyone who has done you a favor. For example, if you were eating out and the waiter provided you with the normal expected service, you would simply thank him when an item was brought to the table. On the other hand, if you were out eating and the waitress made sure that you received a special request, you could say, you're the best upon receiving it. You would not, however, simply tell someone you're the best if they hadn't just done something for you, helped you in some way, or did you a favor. Even if that person was a really important person in your life and was honestly one of the best people in your life. You're the best is an idiom or phrase that can be found in writing as early as the 1900s, but was probably in usage a lot earlier than that. It sounds like a noun should come after best in you're the best. You're the best person I know or you're the best friend I could have. But this idiom is a standalone phrase and should be used in place of a thank you. You're the best. It may sound like overkill to say that someone is the best for simply doing you a small favor, but it is never a bad idea to let someone know that they're appreciated. Indeed, feeling appreciated is an important factor in mental health. It makes us feel valued, seen, liked. It connects us and it gives life a sense of meaning. Thus, even though you're the best is just three words, it's a way to let someone know that they've made a difference in your life, no matter how small. It's fantastic to feel valued or even cherished and is validating and meaningful to know that we helped in some way or are appreciated.
You really came through for me today. You're the best. Your coworker might thank you after you helped complete a big project. Perhaps a taxi driver chases after you in the street to return your forgotten purse. You're the best. I don't know what I would have done without my things. That's fantastic. You're the best. You might say to the sandwich maker that gives you extra pickles. So the next time you want to thank someone for doing a little extra for you, and at the same time let them know that you appreciate them, don't forget to say, "You're the best."